I'm Sochi Mora with the City of McAllen. Welcome to your McAllen Minutes. If you missed the City Commission meeting of September 24th, don't worry, here's a brief recap of what was discussed. The meeting began as a joint meeting with the McAllen Public Utility Board of Trustees. Under public hearings, two final public hearings were held, one on the City of McAllen budget for fiscal year 2018-2019. Highlights of this year's $349 million proposed budget are 29 new positions, 168 days of a fund balance, and a 3% pay raise for all City of McAllen employees. The proposed budget was approved and adopted. Another public hearing was held for the proposed City of McAllen 2018 tax rate, which this year is $0.479234 per $100 valuation. The proposed tax rate reflects a 1.68% increase due to $10 million in certificate and general obligation bonds sold earlier this year. The proposed tax rate was approved with only one nay vote cast by Commissioner Quintanilla. An ordinance and resolution for the issuance and sale of waterworks and sewer system revenue bonds in the amounts of $7 million, $12 million, and $6.9 million were all authorized and approved. Both entities approved and revised the City of McAllen's annual investment policy and strategy. Under the consent agenda, commissioners approved an interlocal agreement between the City of McAllen and McAllen ISD for a drainage facility at Lincoln Middle School campus. They also approved another interlocal agreement between the City of McAllen and the City of Mission for the purchase of traffic control devices and equipment. Commissioners also approved a memorandum of understanding with the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley for an internship program for undergraduate students studying medical entomology. Students will work with the City of McAllen Health and Code Enforcement Vector Team in trapping, collecting, and identifying mosquitoes. Commissioners also approved entering into an interlocal agreement with the City of Brownsville to participate in the 2019 South Texas Auto Theft Enforcement Task Force. The City of McAllen will receive $281,415 in state funds and provide a match of just over $221,000. Finally, commissioners approved increasing the strength of the McAllen Police Department by six additional officers. Under bids and contracts, city commissioners approved an interlocal agreement with Palm Valley Animal Center for services related to quarantine, impoundment, sheltering, and spay and neutering services at $83,563 a month. Currently, approximately 9,925 animals are delivered to the facility by McAllen Animal Control Officers and 1,972 McAllen citizens drop off their animals. However, the total cap is 12,500 and this service does include capturing pests such as possums. Under the Mayor's report, Mayor Darling invited City Commissioners to become much more involved in developing a legislative agenda for the City of McAllen that all City Commissioners could champion, including those promoted by TML and those that are specific to our community or region. Meetings to begin determining that agenda will be held with appropriate, proper public notice for quorum. Mayor Darling also continues to promote economic development for the City of McAllen, including just returning from a trip to Korea where he encouraged investors to consider McAllen and the Rio Grande Valley instead of cities further north of South Texas. He also continues to push for higher paying jobs in the education and medical fields for UTRGV. We hope you enjoyed this recap of your McAllen City Commission meeting. Meetings are set for the second and fourth Monday of each month. We also air the entire meeting on the McAllen Cable Network on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. For the City of McAllen, I'm Sochi Mora.